Last time I showed you some Kurigami application. Now I want to highlight some application done with a framework built on top of it, Maui. We recently got a new stable release, 1.2.2, with many cool new features. Let's talk index, a convergent file manager. The first feature, we now have a convergent tab component which is able to display tabs on desktop and mobile as well. On mobile they use this look which I personally consider to be the best way to display tabs on small screens. The style of the tabs is also very nice, I particularly like using the highlight color for the active tab text. There's also a very quick hover feedback where when opening a context menu using touch, I like it. You can also select some files and then click on the compress button or the delete one and, uh, to get a super pretty pop-up, shows file previews and everything, I like it. There's a new pretty view for creating tags, just click on tags on the sidebar and on the plus button on the bottom right, I like it. Well, I'm beginning to think that this application looks really good. You can also now type to select files and what you are typing appears on the bottom left. This implementation feels natural and it's good for index to now have this feature. Let's talk Wave, a convergent music player. Wave now features a very nice metadata editor. I don't understand why this isn't a standard in all music apps. Every time I try one, it either lacks it or is broken. I can finally mark my songs as my own, finally. I like that the type to select file is consistent enough to also work in the wave views. I can even type the year of the song I want to see and it will work or the artist name, thumbs up. Oh and there is now a repeat playback button, the devil is in the details. So let's talk about Nota a convergent text editor. So first of all, we now have a search and replace, not exactly a detail, but we now have it, got it. There's also an embedded terminal if you have the QML terminal part installed, which right now I don't. Still, it shows that Nota is improving fast and really wants to be your next text editor app. Then there's Buho. Well, the one thing I noticed when messing around with Buho is just how pretty the new about section is. Usually you get some blankish pop-up, but this one has gradients and stuff. You can't deny the design of Mahui apps is really good. There's also Station, a very necessary, really, I missed one, terminal for mobile as well. It has the best support for quick keyboard commands I've ever seen. Not only you have a set of them, but you can also choose other categories by clicking on the keyboard icon. As an example, there's a nano section with all the buttons to navigate in nano. This is how you know something is well done. There's also a button to add custom commands, the common ones such as RM, RF, slash so you can run them just by clicking and yes we get convergent tabs as well the same pretty style consistently from index this is serious stuff of course you get split view and search it's not console on a desktop but it's not console on mobile either we also get contacts application called communicator it is what you'd expect with favorite contacts, all contacts, recent one and so on. We can of course create a new contact with a picture, a name, all the relevant information. As far as pics goes, we get first a very consistent add tags dialog. You can say anything about Maui apps but you cannot say they are not consistent and convergent and pretty. Then there's a new folder view which is able to display even more images by displaying four of them in each folder, nice. But the biggest feature is the image editing function. Let's take an image and then edit it. In the transform section we can get cropping and also rotating with a pretty degrees counter. We can also get a color section with all the important image editing stuff. I'm no image editing expert. 
there's also a layer section which I don't actually quite understand maybe in the future this one will improve even more and well this goes without saying at this point but the long touch press animation works here as well just like in any other Maui application and I really want to stress it this is how you do consistency properly reusable components that behave the same in all application of course there are some problems with the Maui apps as well they are still very new so some features are lacking and I personally can't use them for daily usage yet but they also have some very interesting features like they are all available as APKs so you can download them right now on any Android phone and what also goes without saying is what are you waiting for?